Hello and welcome to the mindfish.com. A cheap SAT video brought to you by the Wizard. We're going to be going over a hard math question in the uh, official SAT study guide. And we're essentially showing you ways to cheat. Now, I just want to point out, these are legal ways to cheat, so you're not going to get any trouble. But the point is, you don't have to know how to do the math in order to do a hard question. So, this is question 18 on page 642. It's one of the last questions in the math section. So, we expect it to be a hard question, and sure enough, it is. So, I'm going to show you a method that we use, a magic math method, to do this question without having to do the math. And this method is called making up numbers. So, what we're going to do is we're going to basically make this a concrete problem rather than an algebra problem. So it says that the average of x and y is k. Rather than think about this in terms of variables, we're going to make up some nice easy numbers. So if the average of 3 and 5 is k, then k is 4. Now it says what is the average of x, y, and z? So in order to do this, I'm going to add a z in and I'm going to make my z 10. So now what is the answer to that question? What is the average of 3, 5, and 10? Well, to get that, I'm going to add 3 plus 5 plus 10, divide by 3, and I'm going to get an average of 6. I'm going to circle that because that's what the question wants. They want you to get, tell them the average of x, y, and z. We have it as a number. Fortunately, there are no numbers here. They're just variables. So the last step is we have to take our numbers, and plug them in and find our answer. So start here. 2 times 4 is 8. 8 plus 10 is 18. 18 over 3 is 6. So when we put in our numbers, this equals 6. Now we don't pick the first one that works. Occasionally more than one will. Um, so we want to make sure that none of the other ones work. This one gives us 8 plus 10 is 18 over 2. This gives us 9, so that doesn't work. This gives us 14 over 3. That doesn't work. This gives us 14 over 2, which is 7. That doesn't work. And this gives us 28 over 3, and that doesn't work. So we can be confident that our answer is indeed A, 2K plus Z over 3. So a very hard question, variables in the answers. The magic math here is we're going to make up numbers. We're not going to do algebra. So again, there are ways to cheat the SAT. They don't want you to know about them, and this is one of them called Making Up Numbers. We have videos, we have practice problems, and we have ex explanations on this concept, do's and don'ts of how to do it, at mindfish.com. So you can check out some more information there. So hopefully uh, you'll learn a valuable way to cheat the SAT. See you soon. Mindfish.com will help you ace the SAT. Practice for the test with SAT Quest, our online SAT quiz game with over 1,500 practice questions. Learn difficult SAT vocabulary words with short, funny, and memorable vocab clips on video vocab. We've got test prep pros from Harvard and Stanford standing by to give you the test prep guidance that you need. Master every concept on the test with SAT videos. Mindfish.com, your resource for all you need to ace the test.